Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 40 of the Stimulus Package. Today we're talking about redemption and truth. Okay, so I've been watching this sermon series entitled Beast Mode by Pastor Darius. He is over a change church and y'all, when I tell you, this sermon series has been speaking, like speaking, speaking, that truth. And I hope y'all will go check it out because I ain't gonna lie, he always has me in here like thinking and reevaluating everything just to make sure, you know, I'm on the right path and I'm on the right track. This week he talked about, you know, being a truth teller and making sure that you are being honest with yourself when it comes to your assignment, when it comes to your gifts and friend groups and all of that kind of stuff. And it made me really, really like, look at my friends. I had a few conversations, like deep conversations with some close friends this week. And it just really touched me to know that I do have truth tellers. I have excellent circle of friends that will tell me when I'm messing up. They will tell me when I'm being neglectful, when I'm acting a fool, and they'll reel me in real quick. Um, And I'm extremely blessed to have that, but I also realized that a lot of people don't have that. This week, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, being a truth teller in your friend group, having good people around you that really, like, will call you out on your BS, and also just, like, understanding that God deposits our gifts, he deposits our dreams. So it's important that we filter our desires through truth so that we're able to make sure that that thing is pre-approved by God. And I think it ultimately starts with, you know, understanding that you're a child of God and that that requires you to hold yourself to a higher standard. That's number one. The next thing that it requires of you is for you to be bold enough and honest enough with yourself to acknowledge what you need and acknowledge where you are in life and understand that everyone can't come with you on that journey. And then the next thing you must acknowledge is that you have to evaluate yourself and the people around you often because with every season, every circumstance, people change, things shift, you know, mindsets change and like You have to be mindful of the people that you have around you and who you're planted with because some of them may be offering you nutrients and then some of them may be weeds that need to be pulled. So this week, I just want you to understand the importance of being a truth teller and being honest with yourself and others. It's meant for us to grow. It's meant for us to, um, you know, ultimately develop in a way that will help us to fulfill God's mission for our life. But... I think a lot of times we get sidetracked, we get distracted, we get frustrated with what we're doing because we're not in the proper place and we don't have the proper support system around us. You know, telling the truth and being told the truth does not always feel good. Sometimes you be like, bro, I know you don't mean any harm, but dang, like it still hurts me to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to understand that when God reveals that truth to you, His ultimate intention is to help you grow, is to stretch you, is to make you become a better, refined version of yourself. And it it causes you to have to go through resistance and friction so that you can like shake off that bondage and, and become free. So I don't want you to run away from truth and I don't want you to run away from, you know, facing situations because it's only gonna keep resurfacing until you choose to address it. Um, and to be honest, some of us are in situations and around people that are really drain, draining us of our gifts and draining us of our focus. So this week, I want y'all to really focus on examining yourself, understanding who you are in Christ, define that. But the next thing I want you to do is to create some standards that represent who you are in Christ. You have to make sure that you're holding yourself to that standard and the people around you to that standard because birds of a feather flock together. And whoever you're around, they are definitely rubbing off on you. You may not see the evidence of that yet, but they're definitely rubbing off on you. So make sure that you surround yourself with people who are doing things that you you agree with, you know, that have the same morals, the same values. Um, you need to be equally yoked. 
It means that y'all have similar principles in life and you are able to meet on a common ground and have understanding. So, all right, y'all, until next time, stay focused, keep going, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Y'all be sure to come by our page and follow us at Level 27 Coach on all social media platforms and also follow us at www.level27coaching.com. All right, have a good week. I love y'all, and I will see you next week. And remember, the truth shall set you free. So be honest with your people. Make sure you're honest with yourself.